What's going on, Vanquishers? Charlie here, back with another state of the game. Got a lot of great updates for you guys tonight. Look at me, I'm already starting off kind of jacked up. I already split the screen. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Great, <laughs> you know, hey, hey, you know we can't always have a flawless uh, um, state of the game. You know? be something. So I'd rather get it out of our system early on. But welcome back to the actual state of the game for those that have been tuning in. Welcome back for those that are new. Welcome to the actual state of the game. In this segment, we like to update, um, give you guys updates of what's going on with this project of the Vanquishers TCG. Uh, we typically cover our, our topics of the social media network, web and app updates, and tabletop simulator and physical card game updates but before we get started we'd like to introduce the developers behind this wonderful project here my name is charlie i am the creator and one of the developers behind vanquishers tcg and what's going on everybody my name is jason i am the co-creator of vanquisher tcg and i help get um, all the little pieces in the background put together and a few other things with the social media marketing so if you have any questions reach out to me and we'll get you taken care of Hello, everybody. You know who I am. I am Jose, the web app <laughs> developer for Vanquishers TCG. Yo, what's good, Vanquishers? I am the game balancer. Let's hey, go. Brady, what were we calling him earlier? <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot already, man. Something hey, Santa. Hey. Man, we're going to come back up with it, man. Yo, he's got looking at straight skin. Out. To... <laughs> Machine Gun <laughs> Santa. Machine Gun I, I, I Santa. That's what... Machine Gun Santa. <laughs> <laughs> This is Poppy. Y'all better Bobby watch Stein it. Y'all better Curry. watch it. If he comes down to Trimini now. So yeah, let's go ahead and get <laughs> let's go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our social media network. Jason's gonna go ahead and fill you guys in on what's been going on in the community, uh, what we have been doing, and what we have been working on. Mr. Jason, go ahead and take flight, brother. Flagship. All right, what's going on, everybody? What's happening? What's happening? How are we doing today? Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking a moment to check us out and what's going on. Um, just to give a, you know, we'll go first through the community growth goals. And you, as you guys know, we are always trying to push to grow to more people to see the game, to stretch the game out, to get more people to 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 fall in love with it. So right now, community growth goal is four thousand people on our Instagram. We're at three three thousand three hundred sixty three as of the last time I checked it a few hours, like about an hour ago. Um, and we continue growing every week. We're growing like 10 to 15 plus every week. So keep telling your friends, keep showing it to people. Um, our street team is due diligently making sure that they go to different LGS and drop off flyers so people can scan and check out the game and you get that free VSTI card. If you know anyone that wants a free card from the early beginnings, we still do have VSTI cards. But just so you know, for 2023, those cards will be taken out and we will have new um, cards for the um street team to hand out for 2023 we'll most likely have two different ones in 2023 so there'll be um, a certain amount of them for the first half of the year then the second half of the year will be another one so be on the lookout for those because those vsti cards are just early access to kind of see what we got going on and as well as getting cards in people's hands so they can see what's going on more than likely the the ones for next year will all be have a foil to them so just be on the lookout with that because when this set comes out you're going to see a whole bunch of different roll patterns um we're going to be we're experimenting with a lot of different ways that charlie's uh, been working on the masking and stuff like that so you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff when you actually get these full cards in your hand and uh once we have them and you guys are collecting them and having them we'll probably talk about those different gradients and different things that he's been doing so that you can kind of see the difference and uh what we can we can do with our foils um so um, as we talked about last week, the objective planning has all been as continuing as as planned. Um, we are definitely going to be getting more into the competitive side and getting things moving. Um, and as you guys know from last week, we did talk about we had uh, DSG on here with James and he gave you guys an update that DSG is able to um, go ahead and grade our cards. The cool thing is that on top of the base set, because we have Beckett a, a um, um, AGS and DSG, um, all grading our cards uh, right now, and also degree grading can also grade us as well. Um, the cool thing is all of them have the base set, but DSG actually has all the pre-Kickstarter cards and promo cards that came out um, before this base set. So if you're trying to get your maybe Patreon cards um, graded, or if you're maybe trying to get your... Um, 
cards that uh, you won through one of the um, energy overloads, those are in there as well, as well as the Saigon promo and the cyber promo are both available to be graded through that as well. Um, and just keep a lookout on the DSG website so you can see when they're available to click on and send out. So that is already on the move and already happening. So we are definitely getting all that situated and making sure that uh, you guys have options and places that you can go and get your cards graded. Um, DSG has just really been working with us and really doing a lot of stuff. So it's really cool to have some options with them and have things situated. Um, and we'll work on more companies. I know there's other ones that people probably want to try as well. So more on the way. Um, then um, we have fulfillment is here. Um, you guys, if you're in there, I don't know if you, we updated you last week, but we said some pack more packages were on the way. Um, so all the the bags that you put the um, that we put our packs in have shown. So we have them here already. Um, so basically, all we're waiting for now um, for fulfillment and packaging is going to be the actual cards, which um, I don't know, Charlie, did we 100% say we're going to show anything today on the stream for people? Oh, yeah. Are you, oh, we definitely you showing. I got show it. I'm already on lock. Yeah, you we're already show on it. Some you got stuff. it. Got I don't some know magic. If ready for that. Don't because, you, you know, we didn't go the normal route. A lot of other TCGs do. And DTCGs um, like to go the route of showing a bunch of shiny cards and... Um, make that collector side of it real, real oh, yeah. heavy. Um, the thing we did was we, we focused on the gameplay. Um, and now you're going to be seeing all the shiny cards coming now. So if you roll with us in the beginning, just know the hollow fool cards you got from the Patreon, the energy overload cards, all those cards, the finish on them is the, you know, the normal rainbow foiling, but that is the only time I don't think we're going to ever do the, that kind of foiling again on cards. So if you have those, you have really rare cards. Um, so collectability is there. And like I tell everybody all the time, 20 years of gameplay, right, Brandon? 20 years of gameplay, it will, will be, collectability will be there if the gameplay oh, yeah. is strong. Well, the rainbow foiling, I mean, we do got a rainbow set that are box toppered. But I mean, as far as it being part of the randomizing we probably won't yeah. do that we'll probably use them as little toppers and things here and there well the um, thing is the foil the, the the rainbow foiling that you guys have on those pre ones are not it's rainbow foiling like we, we're gonna have but it's a whole different yeah, kind of rainbow foiling. yeah yeah so great. just just know that it's it's gonna be you're gonna be able to see the difference in the rainbow foiling between the ones pre kickstarter um base set compared to what's coming after um we, we did a whole lot of different stuff with this stuff after um so thank you everyone who came in the beginning and got those cards everybody that was part of patreon that's still part of patreon um stay on patreon you never know what's going to happen patreon people get early access they get early information um and you definitely if we have a link to send you to get something before everybody else being on Patreon is the best place to be. So really appreciate everybody that does support us in that way, knowing that our Patreon is really what Patreon is for. And it's just for you saying, I want to support these people um, in this project. So we do appreciate everyone that is still part of our Patreon. Uh, we always try to look out for you guys and do everything we can. Um, but yeah, so everything's really cool. Next week, we're going to show you some mock-ups of the booster ba uh, pack bags and everything like that. Um, this week, be on the lookout for some posts. Um, of some of the stuff we're going to show today we'll post this week uh, as well so that people could see um and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is we're locking in our first event for 2023 i think it's a really good event in the sense of a good idea for us to do this and also it's it's about community as we always talk about we're always about community um so this um coming up february uh the fourth of uh, february fourth weekend um, we have locked in four tables for uh, us to do a, you know, expo on the game. So there's going to be at least two tables of gameplay, one table with Charlie over there showing everybody how the game plays and it works. Um, and then we probably have another place where you can try to give Brandon a high five and get a promo card. But, you know, he's going to lift his hand up. You're going to have to try to reach. Is that <laughs> I'm going to step on the stool too. A super yeah, high five, right? Stool. You got to take so, a three step. Take three steps. You're gonna need about three eleven steps. Three eleven steps and a jump. That man, that man be it. That's my man's though. Um, but yeah, so definitely we're gonna do our first event. It's gonna be for the weekend. And the cool thing is it's in Punta Gorda. Um, it's you know, not too it is it's not too far from us at all. Um, we have uh LGS, um, Mystic Game Forge, that they're in the same area. 
Um, so it's really cool because then we're, the players that are building in that area are going to be able to come to the booth and hang out with us and, and play the game. Um, as well as we're going to probably have the base set. Uh, we're going to probably have all the Kickstarter product um, and everything there with us. That's, um, you know, after everyone gets their pledges. So it just looks like everything's going to be really good for you to come and see us out there. The other thing is Punta Gorda, for Charlotte, they, they were hit by the hurricane. And this is going to be a really awesome way for us to go and be in that community, be at an event, talk to people about what was going on. Because normally the question we get when we go to a, um, when we go do a, an expo, we normally get the question is where, where can I buy this? Where, where's the website link? Where's the, where, how much is this? Yeah. Where's the product? Um, and this, this year we really had to, you know, say, hey, hold off. We got, we got this going on, you know, we got kickstarter happening and it was just a wait to that and um obviously the hurricane affected our area we have a big florida fan base so uh, this is going to be another way to get to that fan base and in person and have product right there for them if they want to buy anything to get into the game and learn it so it's going to be really awesome in the sense of us having that uh, ability um and the cool thing is we ordered um extra demo decks for the actual when we're sitting down at expo so the new starter decks are going to be the starter decks we're going to for 2023 we're going to be training and teaching people with not the ones that were in the test decks that were previously from this year um so it'll be an update for 2023 so as you guys see everything's upgrading and it's going to be the actual you know card the same card print and all that kind of stuff so it's definitely going to be an option and some things going on with that um and it's going to be great for us to get back into the community and start our first event at puna gorda in the port charlotte area where the hurricane was hit that affected us affected the floridians here and affected our kickstarter um i think it's just a really redeeming um quality built into it for us to go and do that and give back um so that's going to be our first event in february 4th um it's going to be at punta gorda um civic center uh, we will have the information in our discord and uh, jose will probably have a newsletter sent out so the information is there as well um so if you guys want to come out with us and see us um and we will we might have something if people show up we might have something special for you guys um we don't do promo cards for events like this we do promo cards for the year um and like i said we've been looking at what promo cards we're going to have for the year but the other cool thing is we have the ian's vortex which um there might be some that might be available at that event because that was you know that event was hit that place was hit by the hurricane and i think it's just only right for us to have a few of those ian's vortexes for people that really want to get into the game and really show a lot of interest and stuff like that um we might have a specific raffle we might have a thing that you might need to do like register your email whatever it might be um just depends on what's going on while we're there and we're planning it out um, but I think it'll be a really good move for us to have those Ian Vortexes, some excess of them that are available for the the area that got hit by Ian. And it's and I think it's a really redeeming story to tell them this is the reason we even made this card, right, Charlie? Yeah, it's personal. It's very personal. That you card know, is very I, personal. It's very personal. Um, the people it affected, I feel like, is very personal to me because we really love our community. Um, and for Mystic Forge, one of the LGSs we've really been building with to be in the same area, I think it all just connects the right way. Um, and the heart really is there and it shows that we really care about our community. So um, that's going to be our first event for this year coming up. Um, and that's how we're going to kick it off. We kicked it off at the end of the year here with the Kickstarter. We did what I do. And now we're going to kick it into the first year in the place where Ian's Vortex happens. So I think it's going to be a beautiful thing. If you have any questions or anything, hit us in the Discord, join Discord. And we'll definitely communicate and talk about what we need to do what you want to do if you want to learn to play the game all those kind of things we have a lot of fun in there a lot of jokes a lot of memes a lot of gifts so go ahead and check us out instagram everything vanquisher tcg all right all right all right jose your turn that, oh my god that Mr. was so, jose, so beautiful go ahead take clap. the mic there bro that's that's beautiful, that's that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing all right guys as you guys know if you guys were on discord i did mention that the site was there down for the day uh, I was doing some maintenance work on it, making sure everything was running smoothly, uh, you know, back end stuff like always, uh, you know, just making sure we're not getting any kind of hacks or anything like that. Um, on that note, we also did uh, purchase a, a plugin to to let us do some cool stuff with the with the point system. I've actually it's it's actually evolved bigger than 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 just the points. We will be doing more things and allowing the point to do more stuff on the site. Um, 
stuff like let's just say we will be doing you know when you get points you'll be able to 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 get into like restricted act or get restricted access on the site if we do manage to do that kind of stuff where you get information about the game or special unlock uh, features where you know you get a certain one-time thing that we will give out throughout the month or whatever we're not um we also are doing instead of just daily uh points that you receive you get uh anniversary points you can get birthday points you know what i'm saying just don't be trying to change your birthdays every day you know what i'm saying that, that's not gonna work with us you know because i'll catch it <laughs> um we also can do referral points if you refer people to the site we can give you referral points for that kind of stuff and and, and etc we'll, we'll probably be explaining more off um as we go as i keep you know doing some more re uh, research on the the plugin like that you guys can earn more points and then with the points you know that's another thing we, we were talking about the other day we were saying that like we'll have certain things in the store where you can use your points to um either or was it charlie weren't we talking about like maybe my like you could actually buy things with on a store with the points yeah, the points are going to be um, redeemable for exclusive content. Uh, things such as like, um, you know, our metal cards that we plan on putting for tournament phases, you know, our complete series that are going to be metal. So not only we have that we have discussed uh, the gold series, we've been talking about the silver series, which we're going to show a little mm -hmm. bit tonight, uh, a little what those look like. Um, and the rainbow foil but then there's also going to be a metal series which in previous state of the games we have um showcased before the metal cards and we plan on putting those out and those will only be um for, for right now the goal is for us to have them to where those token points the v coins right now is what we're calling it uh will be redeemable for those specific cards right right so whole nother that's series whole nother chase guys <laughs> exactly yeah 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 and that's in the works we're, we're yeah. trying to make the, the site more interactive get people in you know start looking around more often um other than that the last thing i have is for the the community has been asking for for kid shirts we, we put up all the adult shirts on and now it's time for me to actually start creating the the, the shirts for the kids so I'll, throughout this week maybe by tomorrow i should have uh, some of the, the kids shirts up so that you guys can purchase them if you would like and cheers <laughs> and cheers <laughs> so jose uh where where can they go to to visit our 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 social media and stuff what sources can they hit well the source of what well, you can go to the website for first of all you can go to the website go bankers tcg.com and on the first page of it you got the top little corner on the left you got all the social media access right there uh but anything bankers tcg you should be able to find google search you know what i'm saying and you know that's actually kind of interesting you actually can find us through google search i think we've been doing this for Yo, so long I, I, i've been, I've been one of the search... i've been putting in the work man yeah I've been we have definitely been one of the searched items so if you do hit our website at www.vanquishersdcg.com this is it loading Oh, boom. There you go. We're oh, what just in time. Do? Just in time. Mira, mira. This is the no, beautiful no. page right here. We'll have all of our icons where you can follow all of our social medias here at the top, all of our tabs here, uh, where you can get to print and plays, where you can get to uh, the complete rule sets, things within that nature will all be up here at the top. Uh, you will have to sign in to get access to some of the features, but once you do, you'll be able to get into it, and then you'll also be able to see your V-Coins, the coins that uh, Jose was mentioning earlier, that you'll be able yes. to get exclusive items and content with. Yeah. And have a great day. And Jose has made it snowed on our website too. This is oh yeah, we you keep stressing hey. about. <laughs> hey, it looks pretty. I like it. All right, Mr. Jose, appreciate you, sir. You are working hard, and what's the word? Diligently, diligently. buddy. Diligently, you're working very diligently, my friend. Uh, working very good, man. Appreciate that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump onto the actual tabletop simulator and the physical card game updates, <laughs> Mr. Brandon. <laughs> Who and where can the community go to be able to test play this game, give feedback, speak with a developer during uh, real time, or even just showcase the game if they want to watch it with other players? To, um, if other players are playing and just want to kind of peep out the game, where can they go? So the best place to go is going to be VanquishersTCG.com. That was the website that Jose was just showing off, actually. And uh, if you go there, you can register, and you're going to have access to our table to our tabletop simulator mod. 
that is absolutely 100% free. You can download that, play it, and then have access to all 150 cards. Play with your friends, family, loved ones, all that good stuff. Everybody. Uh, everybody. After that, you're going to be able to have access uh, after registering to the uh, print and play. Print and play, you're going to be able to get all 150 cards as well. And you want to share those with those same people as well. Same group. Don't be, yeah, you don't got to be biased. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we also have the untap. Uh, I don't know if Charlie wants to go through all that right now. We need to go ahead. Yeah, and, we got to uh, create We got to create a quick uh, little overview yeah. of how to use it. It is a bit intuitive exactly. to find the cards, but Untap is another great source where our cards are located. Once you have created a deck, um, you'll go ahead and um, you'll have to search our cards, which again, we're going to create a quick rules thing once we get it all, or not a quick rules, but a quick guide. Uh, maybe you know, even a, a quick video guide tutorial. or something with the keywords in there so that yeah. way people can, you know, quickly search and, and find the things that they need to find. Yeah, it is a great source to use because you can play with mobile devices. You can play from PC to mobile. I mean, there's just options are almost endless at this point to play the game. So it's a great source. And if we get more people playing the game on this uh, platform, they'll actually make our game here. Let me show you what this looks like. If I was to click create a deck. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got a disclaimer. There you go. Now, if I hit create a deck, you'll notice these other games that are already pre-listed. If our game's being played enough, they'll already make it a pre-listed game and you won't have to do this uh, custom CCG, but in our case, we'll have to. So if I was to type test is my the name of my deck, make sure that custom TCG uh, uh, CCG is selected, then you just do create a deck. Once you have done that, there's gonna be a little code here that is colon set equals. You'll have to copy that code or type it right here on the top, colon set equals equals and then if you type vanquishers you'll have the entire list of our all of our cards in the library and then if you just hover over to the side here you'll see the cards that they are that you're that you're choosing from so you have your hero you'll have uh, all the the hero items and so forth and all you do is select the card you go ahead and add to your deck and it'll start adding to your deck uh if you want to add his uh saigon's gauntlet add to deck and then from there for uh, forward, you'll be able to build your own decks. And it, it works as a deck builder too, that if you don't want to use it to actually play the game, you can actually use it in save decks that you want to custom build just so that way you know what they are while Jose uh, it's really cool the way it time builds the decks build out. our deck builder. I, I really do like the way it builds the decks out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting because whenever you, once you select it and you tell it to, to, to pick a card, it'll automatically add four of them. And then all you guys do is just kind of decrease them as you, as, for what you need for your deck build. And they'll tell you your total build here at the top. But yeah, so this is uh, untapped. Yeah, we got, we great got some good here. ideas for this. We just need some time to work out the kinks. And uh, we're going we gonna to have something up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, so now that we got that out of the way, every Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am playing the game with anyone who wants to play and I'm teaching the game to anyone who wants to learn how to play. Now, outside of those times, I try to get on, you know, whenever I can hit me up. Uh, Charlie's always around. Uh, Jason's usually around. Uh, maybe Jose might be around. Jose's always working diligently. So I yeah, don't he's know. working diligently. <laughs> uh, so uh, definitely hit one of us up, DM us, but Sunday nights, I'm always on 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, some things are in the works. We're setting up a calendar league. Calendar league. <laughs> yeah, I hate this word. I can't pronounce that word yeah, either, I, bro. I don't like this one either. Calendar. It's a, it's a calendar yeah. that you guys can a a uh, access to pre-sign up for Sunday nights. So the whole purpose uh, behind this idea is that if no one signs up for Sunday nights, then I will be available for Tuesday nights at Nerdy Needs. Yes, so, we, which is the next thing we want to talk works. about. Uh, we're, we're trying to get that worked out. You know, Jose, he's a mastermind over there. He's doing a lot over there. So as soon as we get that worked out, you know, we'll let See. you all know. See. Yeah, so like like Brandon mentioned, um, Nerdy Needs is another uh, source that you can come and meet with the developers. Uh, if you are in the t in Brandon or Tampa area in Florida, uh, you can feel free to meet with us in our local LGS that we go to every single Tuesday. Uh, we show up there roughly around 7 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock. You'll catch us in there. I know some of our community members get in there a little bit earlier. Um, 
but we will be there every single Sunday. Actually, I mean, every single Tuesday. Uh, but you know it's actually been kind of interesting because um, the people that are reoccurring, we've been testing out a new game mode. So uh, for those that know our game, we have several different game modes that we're expanding into. Um, right now, we've been focusing on the Rift game mode, which is the core 1v1 style play. Uh, but we've been testing out a lot of the waters with uh, the, the Carnage mode, which is the next expansion that we plan on putting out with the series. And testing out a couple of mechanics, trying out new things. And I love hearing from the community and, 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 and what their uh, suggestions are and things within that nature. As we're developing these things, we're taking notes, we're making it work. Uh, you know, making sure that the system's operating properly. And, uh, you know, we, we have fun with that, essentially. So um, if you do want to learn the game, if you're in the local area, feel free to stop by Nerdy Needs. We'll feel, you know, we'll be more than happy to showcase the game with you. We have plenty of our community members uh, doing so. 7 o'clock is when I will be there. But, you know, feel free to show up at any time on Tuesday. Uh, I'll be there at 7. Jason will be there roughly around 637. Um, and I know, like I said, some of our community members get there pr pretty early. So those are the major locations for now that we you can find a dev or someone experienced to play the game and and, and show you how to play the game. Uh, we know we have community members that are showing up in the other LGSs. Uh, like Jason mentioned, we do have Mystic Forge out in... Um, um, phone a friend, phone a friend. Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte. Yeah, Port Charlotte. Uh, we have the... Uh, what was the other place that you went to in, uh, in Orlando, Jose? uh the the damn man the haven the haven yeah we got the haven i mean we got quite sunshine games i mean we got quite a few uh lgs's that we're going to be doing a tour next year uh meeting with these uh locations showcasing the game playing the games and uh hopefully we get some of the street team initiatives to get involved with us too and help uh you know show up at certain time frames at certain uh lgs's and you know help spread the word and that's the that's the ultimate goal what we're going to try to uh do for next year as well uh, you know, and any of the uh, street team initiatives, Jason's going to be putting programs together and things within that nature to help support uh, LGSs and local gameplay and stuff like that. Gameplay. Speaking gameplay. of gameplay. So we did a couple of games yesterday. Um, I know Brandon played um, with uh, community members yesterday, um, had a couple of good games. Uh, Brandon, you want to talk about that for a second? Any good outcomes? Were there any good events? Uh, no, I what don't want to talk bills? about it at all. <laughs> it sounds like you got beat. I, I don't know what Jose is talking about. There's no possible way I could have got beat. Let's move on from this subject. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I think there's man, some more. Y'all, y'all, do y'all sense the sodium? I know y'all no. sense all that sodium coming out. Okay, so I got to, I got no. the pleasure to watch the yeah, first game. So, I mean, you so came we, out victorious. We had some fun. Uh, I managed to win the first one. Uh, I played with Lewis with two fluent, uh, and and he won the second one. Uh, it was both fun. It was fun games. Man, I gotta I tell beat, you, I beat him really good the first one, and he uh, beat me really good the second one. So it was it was a good even even even. Yeah, the first fight was very um, interesting. I don't know how how he managed. I to think get uh, as once far as once he uh, re reorganized his deck, he was having some weapons issues. But you know what? It's it's pretty interesting. Now let, let's touch on this topic real quick. Real okay. quick, it's interesting right. when you make a build. It from your head to the to the paper into the table is the is the best build in the world right then when you start oh, yeah. playing it you're like mm, you're gonna refine it i'm telling you you're gonna refine your build at least three to four times before you find your sweet spot because you're gonna start to think you put too many cards that were not necessary maybe you didn't put enough cards of specific things uh, if, I mean, if you, you find yourself people, not using certain cards or exiling them then yeah, you know you, you notice that you're exiling them more than then, anything and yeah. not getting to the key cards you really need and you're going to find yourself doing that several times with your builds and that's the beautiful thing about this game is that you're going to be synergizing and syncing in and out of cards uh to make the perfect build for you right, right. because your build is your build it's your play style it's what synergizes with you and what works with you um but yeah, that that the first game was pretty interesting because, man, I he couldn't get a gun out for the life of him. I mean, that was that was pretty rough. Uh, and the second game, I didn't get the pleasure to watch, but I'm sure it was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just so many different ways to play the game out. Um, right now, one, I mean, as of right now as we're speaking, ideally, like I said, if you can't meet to a local LGS, I mean, we even doing camera gameplay, which I don't even know if we discussed, Brandon. Um, we're willing to go with the camera. 
um, overhead cameras and be able to play as well. So if you are from another state, another area, I mean, even if we're going to these LGSs and you want to play a game or so, I mean, I've done it with a few of the community members where I'll set up and I usually carry my backpack, my camera, my, my laptop to be able to set up a, a, a computer live camera play. Uh, and be able to play with with you guys that way as well. So there's I've there's been, multiple. I've been doing play. some research into the webcam play, and and actually it's really easy. Uh, the best way to do it actually is with your phone because your phone actually has a lot better camera than webcams. Actually. Yeah, so, yeah. You're talking like at uh, least bare minimum is what 1080, yeah. 1080p on an average phone these days, and yeah, webcams so, are like seven. So the most the most you need if you're gonna play with uh, do webcam, you know, use Discord, your phone, your charging cable and uh a tripod if you don't have one then you might be investing maybe 20 25 bucks you know at I the most some people put some boxes to to play to play on because you know discord is free you know you already have a phone so pretty much yeah you as long as you get that right setup and and you can even do it for a competitive play as well so which is something we're looking into so yeah speaking of competitive play um that, since we're already on that topic brandon um what are some things that we have researched? I mean, we've done, we didn't realize how complex this really, really is of a process. Now we're talking competitive, competitive play. So we've done yeah. some research. I know Brandon has done a massive amount of research with this stuff here, and he's still digging through archives to find out what the best approach and the best ways uh, to run our game in this tournament format. The one thing we really kind of scoping in on and um, what me and Brandon's kind of been discussing is how we're gonna handle the the um i don't want to say discrepancies but like the penalties so, you know right? if uh you know there's there's different levels of uh you know just so how if rules are broken if someone's caught cheating you know people are you know maybe they're stalling you know purposefully you know taking a really long time you know uh different things like that what are the different penalty levels uh so we're just going through and, and we're really looking at our rules uh and and trying to really figure out how we're going to structure everything and make it because the everything is all about having fun playing the game you know it's all about the spirit of the game playing the game having fun and having a good time so we're not trying to go really you know crazy on the rules where every little mistake you get you've done it over you know yeah, that's we it. Make it like, like we, we've talked about that right? we don't want to make it to where it's to a point where you make one mistake you're like ah man yeah. i don't play this game no, no more. you know it should be a fun learning experience you know you know and some some mistakes are as simple as like you know just take back that turn or you know put that card back in the deck or what I mean, you know shoot, whatever, we play, you know, we've developed the, the game and we've made many mistakes and still oh, yeah. to this day i mean i I you know, sometimes you forget to draw a card. Sometimes yeah. you forget to proc an ability. Sometimes yeah. you forget your burn. You store your you know, energy, so, and you're like, yeah. "Oh man, I want to do that first. But you know, it's 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 if if I was to do it and I get called out on it, I'm not gonna do it, right? I'm just like, oh, okay, right. yeah, you're right. I skipped the order. But if I'm like, "Yo, I'm gonna take this back. Is that cool?" And if they're like, "Cool with it, all right, cool. I'm gonna take it back." You know, but it's just one of those things that we want to make sure that we have the good spirit of the game. Um, we want to try to encourage players and i get it i'm very competitive i'm a sore loser guys listen i'm, I'm as salty as it gets <laughs> trust me man if it's competitive i'm gonna make sure i can get but at the same time like you know um upholding the rules is the rules but it, we would love for the players to be able to get the resolution themselves without having to get a ref involved again this is going to be competitive play you got people that you know that are here to win they're not they're not about you know so and really and really, that's how most tournaments are, you know, uh, the players usually, you know, work it out Resolve themselves. It, right. And if they can come to an agreement, then they call over the judge and, and you know, the judge will arbitrate. Yeah. So and again, <laughs> Brandon and I are still figuring out ways, the best ways of approaching these situations. You know, we've, we've come up, we, we tend to play devil's advocate, right? That's me and Brandon going back and forth all the time. You know, oh, but what if this? Oh, but what if this person's trying, knowing he's going to lose and wants to cheat just so that way he knows both players lose. So we're trying to come up with the best penalties to be able to help both sides and at the same time because eventually like brandon has mentioned i mean if this person is constantly doing it eventually the person is going to weed themselves out right we're going to know um if this person is having this problem with this gentleman and if vice versa someone else having the next tournament play play with this person it's the same scenarios uh eventually you know we're gonna know what's going on but you know and if somebody's do doing stuff like that that would be you know considered uh like unsportsmanlike conduct yeah. and you know they'd probably be like you know 
get the hell out of here. Yes. <laughs> so we, again, we want to make sure that we're encouraging good spirits of the game. We want to make sure that, you know, people are being fair and true to the game. And again, I get it. Um, you know, we do it still to this day ourselves. Hey, 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 what system. is it? What is it? If you ain't cheating, you ain't okay, trying. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so definitely a, we're gonna make sure we keep that motto away from the yeah, tournament. yeah. So <laughs> you know, that is a fun thing we that, say. We really don't mean it like that. Those are for the those are for the, the fun the play of the game. Right. We don't want to encourage no cheating. <laughs> Cause you ain't, it ain't even about trying. You cheating, man. It's cheating. We're gonna That's be in it. the middle of a real deal tournament. They gonna be like, but Charlie, you said. But you hey, said. But you ain't said if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Facts. But that don't mean you ain't breaking the rules, my dude. So I ain't encouraging nothing. So I'm gonna make it very clear. Um, but you definitely said. abide by the rules, and we're about the good spirit of gameplay. That's what we want to make sure that we're encouraging. Um, but I just so you guys know, it is a lot to dive into. It isn't just setting up a tournament and go. I mean, there's a lot to structure and make sure that you're you're meeting these uh guidelines man and you know yeah i get it we're researching a bunch of other uh um tcgs that are doing tournaments actively and we're trying to translate as much of it as we can for our game because it's a lot different than most games how it plays you know the the, the technicalities the synergies i mean our system is just so different than most games that we got to take what we can and um, evolve it to make sense for our game. So that's what we're currently translating right now. Um, and eventually, right, Brandon, we're going to have to, after we've translated it, we're going to have to, you know, terminalize it into our terminology, which is yeah, a whole nother little it. ordeal that Brandon's working on. But he's trying to get all yeah. this stuff together. That way, when the cards are in hand, the tournaments, at least this, the, the, the basis of the tournament is structured and set and ready to go. And we can start running our competitive gameplay. Cool. Did I miss anything, Brandon? I think I think we about covered it. I about mean, covered I at least the so far anything. part, right? We don't got the details yet of the rules, but just know we are definitely searching and we're really discussing a lot of the penalties. There's, there's definitely going to be a, a rule for banning people who beat me. <laughs> That'll be an automatic we're banning. Call it the get, salty get booted out the front door, you know. Man. The whole line. Y'all know he can't let it go, man. My man ain't letting it go. Ain't letting it go. So quick news, quick good news, actually. Really good news. We're going to be meeting with Hakeem this week. For those that don't know who Hakeem is, he is the actual designer of Saigon and Cyber, the two heroes that are flagship heroes, the Vanquishers that are in our game. We're meeting with him this week to final out, finalize and get some artwork and also working on some more artwork. So... We got him back on a team. I know we've been talking about it, but it's official. Uh, we definitely are getting, you know, getting back, you know, on point. So let's just put it that way. Just know that the next series, uh, the next set is going to be lethal, right? It's going to be real lethal. I just can't say nothing no more than that. <laughs> so I wanted to bring that news up. Uh, very exciting stuff. We're going to be structuring that uh, meeting, hopefully, uh, within the next day or so. So we should know where we're at, where we're going. Just know, guys. We have been moving forward. The cards, we're waiting on the cards to make sure that we can get them all boxed in and get them sent to you guys. But listen, we're already working on the next set. I know it sounds weird, right? Oh, you guys are already working on the next set. Uh, but you guys don't even got the game out. Listen, we've been working on this since 2016. The game is rock solid. We have three sets ahead, right? We're structured with three sets ahead. Uh, modeled, we're just getting it all set up and, and, and getting it, you know, pretty much down packed. Just know... Guys, this isn't just one all be all. It's not stopping right here. It's already excelling. It's excelling forward. So we're gonna we're continuing that process and we're making a move. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and quickly show a couple of the cards that um, was sent to us from the printer, just to show you guys the quality. Um, can we turn a video sideways? It looks like two of the videos are laying on its side. Is there a way to orientate that? Um, do you know? Could be on the top. There's a little round button with the arrow. You press on that. I know you can do that with photos, but can you do that with a video? Oh, you know. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna I'm gonna review this video. Real I'm gonna go with yes. If you use the OBS, okay. Watch how he's doing that. It's not, it's not it's not oriented messed up. It's just the way it looks on my screen. Okay. Well, Charlie's doing that. Um, I did have another update because a community member did mention this out to me. Uh, I, if you have, if you if you if you look at the website on the site on the computer, you have a cart 
button that you can see your cart and all that good stuff. But on the mobile side, you really don't have a cart that you can actually, you know, if you did have something in there and you wanted to go ahead and buy it, there is no direct access to it. I have created a button for you guys on the home page on the right hand corner of oh where Saigon is at that you can actually click on that. That is your cart that you can go straight to the cart page to, to, to look at your stuff. So hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. let me make sure we can see what this is that we're talking about. All right. So I'm on the home page. I'm about to load in here. Where is it that we're going about to the mobile version? Cart? You're going to have to go mobile. mobile. Okay. I'm tripping. I got, I am tripping. So I guess I'm mobile here. Um, you go, you press F4, uh, F12. Oh, okay. Hold on. He's about to guide me something here. F12. F12. Okay. Now on the top where you see uh, the, the box with the arrow right next to it, you can change your, the view of. I see it. On the ah. left hand side. Left hand side. Look at this. Oh, not this one? Yeah, right there. That is right there. Boom. Look at that. Look at this. See? Now you learned something developer. today. I learned how to turn my computer to mobile, guys. Y'all saw that? Get lessons Look. over here. Lessons. Don't ever say we ain't teach y'all nothing. Look at this. Jose's teaching the G14 color. Look at all the serial numbers, man. My man just gave me... I'm dove right into the back end of our website. So, yeah, this oh, is essentially what it looks like on mobile. So, yeah, I assume this is the button right here, Jose? Yeah, on the top part, yeah. That oh, is the button cool. that you can so go to. So, that'll get you right to the cart. Let me see if I click Yeah. Oh, there we go. Even Shots even with a shine, Apparently even empty. with a shine. All right, cool. That's what's up, man. Nah, nah, Charlie, go buy something. Wepa, let's go back to Wepa status. Empty cart. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. All right, so Jose's working on it, man. You know, you guys ask if there's any other concerns, make sure you message us, and we'll try to get to it at a reasonable time frame. And so Jose's working diligently, as you guys can see. He came up with a solution, and it, and it's working. Uh, it, apparently, it's working well. Thank you, Mr. Jose. You're welcome. It's a nice glass of milk there. You go ahead and have another cup, yep. all right? Num, num. Drink that milk. All right, so um, without further ado, we're going to go on. That's what we had for Christmas. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and showcase. <laughs> My bad, guys. Um, hold on here. Let me uh, minimize this piece here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show off a couple of the cards really quickly here. Um, uh, videos of I hope y'all ready who's to watching us. right now. Go ahead and uh, get back into the screen share. Boom, let's see. All right, yeah, bam. All right, so this is here is going to be our silver cards. And again, guys, keep in mind, this is like not the best quality, but you guys get it. Either way, video the doesn't video show is not the quality. best quality. So what, what you're you seeing mean. in the back here is the silver, the silver uh, material and the card on the silver. So this is what you guys are seeing. This is the silver series of the, so um, the box toppers of the print, huh? Oh, the, uh, the box top be one of the box toppers yeah this one here i'm about to showcase is going to be the gold series so it looks a little darker like i said um but when you actually have them on hand they're going to be a lot more brighter yep those there are going to be the gold series as bea beautiful you guys are going to see an actual uh exclusive look at that man Man, can I zoom into this? I can't. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Yo, but the color separations are really, really nice, man. When you actually get your hands on this card, I mean, it's guys. This is pre-cut. This is cut yeah. for yeah, the final. Don't cut. even got the round edges on them yet, man. It's just, just I hope y'all see that full. Clean, like how work, clean the art looks. Head, I mean, it's it's really nice. We're gonna go ahead and see one of the comic book cards. And look how the energy on Saigon's gauntlet just is like foiling man and impartial the background and all the energy off the background here i mean it's gonna be wicked imagine when you get that all the pieces bro. put together and you create the whole mural that's gonna be foiled that's my favorite full car so far they've shown us guys like that looks so crazy with the electricity in the hands it's wild yo and you know what i experimented with this one a little different than i did the other ones and i think i'm liking what i did here so you guys are going to know that some of the foils are going to be decked out differently. Like there are a lot of them are not going to be the same, same foiling styles. They're going to be a little different. So you guys are going to be getting different styles with all of them. And honestly, this I was testing patterns. out the best ways of doing it. And uh, this absolutely was one of my favorite ways. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, this is crazy, guys. So this the is... next one's going to be the heroes, guys. The vanquishers. Also, Notice. Hey, oh. So also just so you guys know, too, the backs of all our cards that are not double sided have a gloss finish to them like the front does so our cards are very glossy and nice is not a matte finish to them 
they look superb, guys, as you can see. Yeah. So here with Cybers, if you'll notice all the widgets around, and then even her blades are going to be foiled. And I believe some of her buttons and stuff. I mean, again, the video doesn't show off the true quality, but I mean, it's, it's and then of course the back, man. I mean, you, you could partially see her background, but I mean, when you have it in hand, I, you guys are going to see the complete background with the shimmering on it. Saigon, same way, standard side. And then of course, V-triggered. Jeez. That is nice. That is nice. Oof. Oh, here she goes, Clara. That's a wrap, yo. And Crazy then her actual that. energy and partial of the widgets. I mean, that's just... Yeah, guys. So these are just some of the cards that we're going to show out. Just a couple more peaks, man. So you guys know. Just so you guys know, these cards are actually going to be gold, silver, and rainbow as well. Part of the sets, right? They're part of the box topper chases. So it isn't just them. They're going to be part of the box topper chases. So um, definitely want to make sure that you check into those series as well. Um, and these are the actual ones from the booster set series. So you, these are the booster sets. Man, yo, that's... Yeah, the Glada one has, like, to me, the Glada best... Glada looks ruthless, man. You know what it is? It's okay. because of the red, the, the crimson redding of the background, pops, of the solar. Man, it really pops. But, man, when you... When you uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get it to pause. I mean... I, I know you can't see it because of how the pixels are because of the video, but man, when you see oh. the flames in the background, man, it's just going to, it's just going to make it so much more chaotic. And guys, but, just so you know, this, this pattern foil right here, uh, it might not be the fi final pattern. You it's never actually, know. yeah, you never know. Yo, these but these you know might who have been I'm really exclusive excited ones about we're showing right now. You never know. You know who I'm really excited about though? Like once we, these cards come out, when Ottawa Collector makes his videos on these. Mm. Oh, they're gonna know. look so dope dude I, i'm psyched about these right now caligos look raw caligos look raw aurora looks raw man we just gotta man you guys gotta get your hands on these cards man as soon as they come out i mean just know guys they're they're on the way Ooh, they're being so cut right now i mean they just look absolutely terrific guys um and and we haven't even talked about the gilded edges ones um those ones are gonna be really nice with the starter kits with the actual uh, booster box, not the booster boxes, the uh, starter starter boxes. So the Veil Solaris and um, Veil Solaris and Raskin, Raskin, their starter deck box cards are going to be different than the actual chase box cards. Okay, just so you guys are aware of it, they're almost reversed foiled. The major difference is is that they're going to have gilded edges and the actual starter decks. So the starter decks will have a gilded edge, so you'll know immediately yeah. that's a starter deck version of that card. Charlie, play the video with the Crimson Blade, the Crimson Blade uh, ability card, because y'all see this foil, this foiling pattern. You see, the, bro, guys, there's gonna be so many different foiling patterns. Like you're gonna be like, wow, these guys really took the time to make things match, and make things look right. It, like that thing looks crazy. That's so crazy. That's crazy. Zip hasn't even seen these. You guys are seeing them before Zip seeing the full mm. version of, the, of mm. his art. <laughs> Exclusive to State of the Game, baby. We're glad that we could bring some stuff for you guys. We always want to show progression. We always want to show that we're moving forward with this project. Um, we want to make sure that you guys are getting the most latest updates. And again, if you guys are watching this on a later date, feel free to leave any comment below the video. Um, make sure that you, you know, um, let us even know on our Discord, you know, if you have any questions about anything specific. Um, if you want to know anything about the project where we're standing yeah. throughout the week, we let you guys know Patreons tend to get uh, more frequent updates. Um, but state of the game is where to be at right here is where to be at. We give as much updates as much as we can during the journey. Again, we are working, um, on the, the second release. We're still working on packaging things. I mean, we're doing a lot of things on the background as well while we're still getting this stuff in order. So just know. Well, we're moving pretty heavily with this project, but we're very active in our community. Please leave a message, join our community, and um, you know, have fun. That's that's Definitely. what this is all about right now. And and as I said before, we said this whole year, guys, we can do we could we could have done shiny cards from day one, but the point was gameplay was our main focus, and we put more of our energy and more of our resources into that. The shiny cards are coming, as you can see, and we're really happy to be able to show you guys that. I don't think you're going to see foiling like the way we're doing it with masking because 
Charlie and I have been doing graphic design since we were kids. Um, and Charlie really went crazy on the different ways he did the masking and stuff like Man, that. You're going to see the GF 16, you see 17, 18 classified yeah. guys. The, the There's classified one out there one. that's just like, I'm trying not to spill the beans. Don't spill them beans. <laughs> Keep them beans and the beans don't don't uh, cook on the grill. Don't don't pull the beans. Just, out just know, man. We we really experimented with quite a few stuff, guys. We have some cool things. Listen, like Jason mentioned, you know, people are about the chase, right? About these shiny cars, things looking beautiful. We knew we can do that. We know we can have that. We wanted to make sure we had a functioning game that made sense, that operated properly. And so far, we've been knocking it out the park. And, you know, thanks to everybody in the community that's been playing it, giving feedback has only been ironing out a wrinkled shirt, you know, little areas here and there. Um, and yep. um, just to address really quickly, I don't think we finalized the uh, Glacier class condition to freeze. Mr. Brandon, I think we've had Justin or just to, uh, 31 asking about the condition uh has that been finalized i know whatever decision uh, does get we, finalized we, we, we talked about it but we haven't come up with a final decision you know i think we still need to keep talking about it yeah so, so as as we stand we'll leave it at that yeah there you go <laughs> hopefully that's a decent answer uh as we stand it's still in effect all right so counter counter attacks and um not being able to target is still the effect of freeze for now um it may change again we have not have we've been looking at it as a couple of solutionary actions and and thank you just i appreciate you for coming up with a couple of other solutions to help out with that um but again we always look into the long term right we want to make sure freeze has always been a condition that we've been afraid of in our game because it could easily become problematic and it becomes a harder system to fix once it's already in effect um but overall i think we did very good on a lot of the freeze balancing um but right now the fact that it's doing two things in its one condition is kind of worrisome but i mean we haven't quite finalized how we're going to handle that yet and if we did make the change we would have to either um unfortunately the uh quick rule card would be that you guys would get would not be up to date um but we, we if we do make the change it may be for the future set series that we plan on releasing because brandon and i are going through a lot of other things because we anticipate you know people saying things are probably a little off or you know i'm saying like synergies a little you know we're kind of preparing for these things and we're noting it and uh brandon and i are taking you know action just know that it's being done so as of right now um we have not finalized that on freeze so freeze is still is what it is so hopefully that answers that question from the community i know that was a concern um but guys do we have any other updates to that we have to mention for tonight uh sounds like we all right all right guys what's that over there hacking hacking the computer man. you know i am i'm just hacking to man you see uh, jose's uh, always a hacker all right you guys well we appreciate all you guys taking time to spend with us tonight we know time is the most important thing in the world and sharing a little bit of that time with us just to get some of these updates we really do appreciate it we appreciate talking with you guys actively on the community we know a lot of you guys are listening i know some of you guys don't have the time to quite respond and get into conversations but we do see you guys coming in and out we really appreciate all you guys in our community um can't wait to get the game out uh we're very psyched it's getting really 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 close i mean we can sense it once it gets into the land once it hits ground, the hardest part is going to be to keep it in ground, right? Because <laughs> it's going to be flying out to you guys' hands. So we really do appreciate you guys tuning in tonight uh, until the next state of the game. Oh, wait, hold on real hold quick. Hold on a Brandon. second. No, for, the, for those of you who do have the time, make sure you go ahead and hit that bell icon. Mm. Stay notified on everything going on, Vanquishers TCG. We are streaming every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you don't even have to remember that. Just hit that bell icon and... Uh, the interwebs will do everything for you facts look see even brandon's making it simple for you guys to so just hit it hit it and just be out all right you guys so again we appreciate you guys tuning in tonight until the next day of the game vanquishers out out, out. out.